welcome. I'm Sherelle. And I'm Luwai. And we're going to share with you how to make a bird feeder. It is, what's, what's this week? Earth Day week. Earth Day week. So we're going to make a citrus bird feeder that is biodegradable. So what we had at home was lemons. You can use other um, citruses such as oranges or you can even use apples, guava, um, anything that you can kind of hollow out to make your bird feeder. So the first thing you want to do is gather your supplies. So we have string, skewers, bird seeds, and your lemon. First thing you're going to do is cut the lemon in half and knife safety, please make sure um, Girl Scouts that you have an adult su supervising you and watching you or have the adult help you if you're not um, familiar with using a knife. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this lemon in half using the knife on our cutting board. And a great thing too when you're using um, citrus or fruits and you want to hollow it out, um, Right now we could save the insides and make lemonade. So if you have oranges, you can make orange juice or you can have um, applesauce, lots of different things you can do so we can use the whole lemon. So I have a spoon here and what we do is we're gonna dig out the inside and you're gonna see a lot of the lemon juice is coming out. So if you have a cup, you can put the lemon juice into the cup and save it. So after it's hollowed out, it's gonna kind of look like this. Then we're going to use our skewer. So the skewer was kind of long. So what I did was I cut it in half. And Lawai, you're going to help me poke into the lemon here. So you want to go a little bit below the rim so that way um, your hole stays in place. So here you go, Lawai, push it in. And then follow it straight across all the way through. Another thing you can do instead of using a uh, skewer. So I'm using, I use that one to pierce it and then I'm putting in the second one in here. And then poke on the other side. So instead of using a skewer, here Lawai, you push it. You can use um, needle and thread if you wanna thread your string through um, and just needle and thread the sides. Uh, we figured to use the skewers because we had that at home from when we made s'mores and um, it's, nice for the birds to have something to stand on while they're trying to eat their food that we're providing them. So after we get the skewers on, what you're going to do is you're going to get your string and I measured it out about a foot long in length. You're going to need four pieces of string and what I did was I made a, a simple little overhand knot to make a little loop at the end. There you go. So you're going to have four loops, one loop on each string. And then you can go ahead and string it through. So here you go, Lawai, hold this up for me. And we're going to put our loops around here. So hold these strings up. So this is where you got to kind of play with the strings to make sure it's balanced and even so you can get kind of a, a nice sturdy one. So you might have to pull on some of the strings and then we'll do the same double overhand knot at the top here to hold all of your strings together. Then Lawai is going to help and put in the food for the birds. So go ahead and get the seeds and then pour a little bit of it in there. And there's your citrus bird feeder. So go ahead, make this at home and share with us your citrus bird feeder or fruit bird feeder um, and show us how you got creative at your home to feed the birds. Aloha.